pearls have been clutched. Hello everyone and welcome to this special video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Big Brother house guest. Um, and it's kind of like a move bomb kind of. I have McDonald's here. I got a plain double quarter pounder with a Diet Coke. And I'm just going to be going over the contestants and what I think about them. Let's begin. So I'm going to try to separate this pre-jury, jury, and then what I think can make it to the end. In no particular order, Isabella. Now... Isabella, I said that she was going to be going out pre-jury just because um, she's never really seen the show. She said she's going to be the house, which is just like really confident, really arrogant. But like, I feel like she's just going to go in there and crash and burn. Another person I said going to be pre-jury is probably going to be Catherine. Now I said uh, Catherine is probably going to be pre-jury because even though I do think I, I like her, she like likes memes and she wants to stay true to herself and she said that. Um, she used to backstabbing, like being in cheerleading and stuff, and unless the boys come and sweep her up, uh, I just feel like the girls are just gonna target her very easily. And she says she wants to make many alliances, which I'm like, girl, good luck with that. That's not gonna be Ovi. I really like Ovi, and I do think he could make at least maybe like right before a jury or even like early jury on. But other than that, I don't see him going really far. For him, he got like he likes Crocs, but I found funny because like I know Vanessa likes Crocs. He just has like such a big personality, like he's like a party person and like not all the time. Big personality like that is gonna work well in the house and you know, I feel like it probably won't work the best with these casts. I think he's gonna play the game that I expected Josh to play, which is kinda like early out, loud. Another pre-jury person I think is going to be Cliff. Now, to be honest, I think that he's just going to be pre-jury just because of his age. I think that he's going to get targeted very, very, very easily just because he is a lot older than all the other house guests, which of course isn't his fault, you know, but it's just how the game normally, it's just kind of how the chips fall. He also said he wants to like play with the boys, but like, to be honest, I don't think that he's likely to be like put in the boys alliance. I do think like they would try to get him out. Another person I think is going to be going home early is Nicole. She reminds me a lot of uh, a Nick from Big Brother Canada Season 2. And also she reminds me a lot of kind of like Caitlyn. Just kind of like oddball, weird, kind of like all up in the spirituality world. And I just think that the people will not vibe with her and they want to get her out. Now it's time for us to move on to the people that I think are going to make it to jury. So... Now moving to jury, I think that this person is going to be very early jury or even pre-jury and that is Christy. Now, I really do like Christy. I think like the, our like gayness kind of like clicks. However, she reminds me a lot of like Erica where like I think she's like just like such, she's going to be such a big target in the house because I do maybe see her being like the other comp beast. You know how like, there's, there's like two main comp beasts and I do think that she is going to be targeted early on if she wins a few comps. She also kind of reminds me of Megan where like I feel like she might be a little too fragile for this game where I think she could just be like very easily just like shut down and just stay quiet and like keep to herself and that's something you cannot do in this game. Now, um, this next one is named Jackson. Uh, I didn't really put too much in notes for Jackson other than like he's a mama's boy. Um, and he's like, and he's here playing for the money. Um, and I do feel like he is someone who would get into a nice boys alliance. I see a strong boys alliance happening this season. But I mean, he did say he's driven and competitive. So like I said, I do think he's going to be in jury. Now the next one, that everyone's going to love, I think they love, is Jack. Right away, I put Jack reminds me of Victor, and I do think that he's going to play a Victor game. He's going to be either very targeted throughout the beginning of the show, but like he keeps winning, he's going to keep winning comms and comms and comms to save himself. Um, and I do think that he's going to make it in jury, but I don't think that he is going to be able to have the stamina to make it all the way to the end, winning comps and comps and comps. And he also said that he likes, he likes to be honest, and like, let's be honest, we all know in this game, like, girl, you cannot be honest. Next one is Holly. She did say that she watched a lot of Big Brother, which is good. And she, but she, she shouldn't get like cattiness. And I do feel like she, again, she's gonna be one of those girls that are gonna be catty. She did not like uh, to tolerate people's BS, I think. Um, and I said LL same. Uh, and again, she, she wants to win the money. So another person I think is gonna make it to jury is uh, this girl named Cammy. 
she was very positive i liked her a lot in her interview she said that she wants to have two strong alliances but she's willing to break them when it's to her benefit which is like yes girl you need to do that and she wants the coin it didn't want to be seen as an angry black woman which i think is like great um i do think that tv does that a lot to african-american people like i really wish the best for kemi and i hope you make it to at least jury so nick i wrote down uh he seemed to really want to make an alliance and i think that he might be the leader of the boys alliance he said that he loves to talk and he wants to win the first comp which puts a pretty big target on your back but i do think that he is gonna be uh shielded enough in this big alliance that he's gonna be probably part of to where you know he probably will be able to make it to jury but not much farther for Jessica, I put that I really do like her. She is a plus size model um, and she wants to go in showing body positivity, which I'm like, yes, girl, we need some more body, body positivity in this world. And I think she's like big and bubbly. And I do think that, you know, maybe she can make it far. I think that her social game is going to be enough to carry her to jury. But when it starts coming down to like those comps that really matter, I don't think that she's going to be able to win them. Next one is going to be Tommy. Tommy was the very first interview that I saw. And to be honest, he's like one of my favorites. Um, I don't think that he's going to be able to win, unfortunately. Remind me kind of of like a Jason where they have a big personality and they're out there. He said that he will be blindsided because he just, he just has such a big mouth. And I think that can like take him down probably early Jerry, to be honest. And then the final three. My first one is going to be David. And I said David. He said he knew to the game, but he is very positive. Um, he said that he's charming and he's single and he's charisma, which I could see. Like, I do think he is he's very charming. And I do think that he'd be able to, like, switch it on and, like, be able to convince people of things. And plus he can fake cry, which I'm like, hello. Like, my pearls have been clutched. So I do think he's gonna make it very far, even top two. Another person who can make it very far is Sam. I said they're outgoing, they have a dedicated wife. Um, they said that they like Derek. They said that they want to spend time complimenting people and starting working on the social game, building it very early on. He said that he wants to win uh, later on in the game, which I'm like, yes. And finally, I think my favorite person uh, this entire season uh, is Annalise or Annalisa's, I can't say the name. She, I found her very funny and outgoing and she just had a really great energy. She said that she did like playing pranks, which I do can maybe see be a problem for her. Like if people aren't really into pranks, I could see her maybe in trouble for that, but I don't see that being such a big problem. She said that she's okay with being in the showman's. And again, she said that she wants to like lay low at first, get to know everyone, build trust. Her and David are my top two of this season. And I hope they do really well. I think that every um, night after the eviction, I might record an episode. Um, kind of like a mukbang, but who really knows? I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please want to leave a like and I'll talk to you guys all again next time. Love you. To uh, my very first ever drag show. I'm so excited. Oh.